everyone and welcome back to Coffee Break Archaeology to my new Let's Play series. Now some of you who've been followers of my blog for a while uh, may have known that I started looking at Archeo Gaming back about two years ago with looking at um, Carbon 14, the dating simulator, or I, the archaeology dating simulator, and Dawn of Man, which was sort of a strategy game based uh, during uh, the sort of Paleolithic all the way up to Iron Age periods. Um, the reason I stopped doing that really was mainly due to technical difficulties. My laptop really was not up to the job. It took a very long time to record videos, to process them, to edit them, edit them, and the quality just wasn't that great, so I stopped doing those. However, uh, my old laptop recently broke and I now have a much more powerful machine, so I'm very much looking forward to doing these videos again starting off this time with a new game and then hoping to go back to revisit Carbon 14 and Dawn of Man as well at a later date. I've also recently um, been doing a bit of reading up and research with this new book that I've received. You may have seen it on my Instagram. I actually posted a picture of it today which is the 24th of June which is also my dad's birthday so happy birthday dad. Um, so that is that book as well. I now have many books on Archeo Gaming. I also started off with a blog series as well on my blog um, with articles looking at Archeo Gaming. I'll link those in that video as well, which explores Archeo Gaming in a sort of a slightly more detailed sense. But very briefly, what is Archeo Gaming? Well, Archeo Gaming really is the sort of um, the cool name, I guess, given to looking at um, Archeo Gaming, um, looking at gaming. Um, through a sort of archaeological uh, mindset, looking at virtual heritage, looking at um, sort of VR stuff. It's looking at the archaeology uh, of and in video games. So part of it is looking at games and how they represent archaeology, but also it looks at gaming in a much wider context, looking at um, video games as material culture, um, as a product of being made by humans. So how they're made, the actual physical part, the technical part, and then the sort of games themselves and deconstructing them and seeing what they tell us about us, um, about values that we hold, the values of the people who made the game, maybe the values of the people who play the game as well. I don't want to go actually too much. I want this to sort of be a let's play of looking at the games. We will look at these aspects throughout the games. I also want them to sort of be a review of the game as well. But I will also deal with a game. E each let's play will also have a corresponding blog where we also look at the game and we explore the, um, the, the sort of Archeo gaming concepts in more detail and at the end of the Let's Play there will be another video reviewing all that as well as a sort of summary or that's what I hope. Let's see how things go first, um, see if this is something you enjoy, something I enjoy before we make too many commitments. I'm not going to give a uh, set time scale for this, uh, a sort of a day of a week that I'll do this yet. I do want to make it a regular thing but with my workload at the moment, it is a bit difficult. But with that all out of the way with, what game are we looking at today? Well, today we're looking at a game called Heaven's Vault, which is a game I actually acquired uh, recently as part of a um, video games for readers bundle sale on Steam. So it's really more of a sort of interactive story with game-like elements. Let's actually get up the Steam page so I can give you an accurate description of what it actually is. I do apologise if there's a little bit of background noise. I'll try to edit that out if I can. Um, but it is over 30 degrees centigrade today and uh, I am not going to sit here with the window closed. So please, I do hope you can put up with that noise. And I'm also having the occasional drink from a can. So again... I do, please forgive me for that. So, Heaven's Vault. Of course, you can't see the Steam page, so I'll have to read it out for you, because um, it'll still be displaying 
hopefully, the screen of the game. So, the story. Alia Elisra is an archaeologist exploring a strange region of space called the Nebula with her robot sidekick Six, hoping to uncover the secrets of a long-forgotten past when a roboticist from the University of Iox goes missing. Alia become, uh, begins a trail of discoveries that will lead to the very edge of her world and the ancient secrets of Heaven's Vault. So, Heaven's Vault is not your usual linear adventure game. Progress through the game in any order you choose. The game is fully adaptive, narrative, remembers your choice you make. Every discovery and every action you take influencing what happens next. Meet a diverse cast of characters who remember everything you say and whose attitudes to you will change with how you act. Some are friendly and some are cautious and some are out to trick you. Who will you trust? What will you find? What will you learn? What will you risk? What will you lose? So, explore ancient sites, discover lost ruins, find artefacts and translate their strange hieroglyphics, sail an open world of vast flowing space rivers, piece together the history of the world and, entire, and an entire ancient language, diverse cast of characters that remember everything you say. So, and here are some of the, uh, tran some of the main features. Translate ancient hieroglyphs, an entire ancient hieroglyphic language awaits to be deciphered. A puzzle mechanic with a twist. Solutions are narratively significant and further the story, but wrong translation might send you down the wrong track. So, there we go. I guess I, uh, and I guess that the slight blurb on Steam is an archaeologist uncovers a lost history in the ancient space nebula, a award winning narrative adventure game with hieroglyphic language puzzles from the creators of 80 Days. 80 Days was also included in the bundle, actually, now I think about it. So, you know, that really caught my eye. I quite like um, sort of story led or narrative led gameplay. And I like open worlds as well. For this first game, I haven't had a chance really to play with the sound, so I'm going to start with the sound off. And then I might experiment before the next episode to see if I can get a good balance between the game sound and my um, recording, because I don't particularly like doing voiceovers. So let's start the game. Ooh, that does look deserty. This may actually be significant, so let's just turn up the volume for this. Well, actually, I don't want to... I was going to say I'll turn on the volume, but I don't want to press X and potentially skip something. We'll just have to listen to this in silence. So there's our little robot. And there's us. Please climb carefully. You worry too much, it's not much further. Careful, don't roll backwards. If you stumble, I will push you up. <laughs> it isn't. It isn't. What? Far. Uh -huh. Take a moment to rest before you work, mis walk, mistress, please. So, here we go. So, um... Okay, so we appear to control using the WAS and D keys. It's not something that's mentioned. A bricktop opening. 
a bricked up opening. Is there something here? To keep people out, do you think? Or is it to keep something in? Well, if it's in, it can boom and stay in. We don't want to be uh, dealing with anything coming charging out at us. So there's something written here. Ancient script. This must have been cut when the mortal was wet, but I think I can read it. Is this our first hieroglyphic challenge, Jen? Let's have a look. Oh, that's... Just in Heaven's Vault. Well, that's an interesting intro. I must say, that was sort of an immediate jump in. Wasn't really sure what, uh, what was going on for a moment, but I guess uh, we'll get a bit more of an intro now. The University of Iox, some weeks earlier. Press any key to continue. Where's the any key? I can't find the any key. Sorry, old joke. This does certainly seem to have a sort of very Arabian feel, I'm guessing. Or Egyptian, maybe. I guess it is sort of supposed to be uh, very Egyptian-like with the sort of hieroglyphics and it's very similar architecture of the experience so far, so I'm completely missing what's going on. She is very anxious for your arrival. Uh, am I in trouble? And who are you? I don't need an escort. Uh, let's go with one. I don't like being in trouble. I'm in trouble, aren't I? What have I done? She did not say, but I imagine she is simply being she is simply being welcoming. This way. Do you have a name, robot? Is that intended to be a joke, mistress? No. Robots do not have names. Wow, that's robotist. We are, as I understand, interchangeable. I've known a few robots. They're all a little different. How kind of you to say, mistress. So why has she sent you? Did she say what she wanted? And how are things here on Iox? Let's go with one again. You've recently been off moon, sailing rivers. That's right. I guess. I've always wondered how it might sail this way. You should know that the professor's urgency was remarkable. Look at her. She looks like a tiger in a cage, does she? She kind of looks like a computer sprite sitting or stand behind a desk at the moment. primary user. Nevertheless, I will try to sugarcoat your opinion. You do that for me? Of course. I've been tasked with you, with your well-being. Shall we proceed? Why is my eyes room so far from everything? I imagine she enjoys her view of the tree mistress. I'm sure it is most pleasing to her. For me, it would just be because I am an introvert. Although I do like a good view of a tree, which I have out wide at the moment, actually. That's, I'm, I am quite worried when I walk, my feet appear to disappear through the floor. It's like itchy nose. <laughs> Professor Mahari. There you are. Come in. I came as soon as I got your message. You want this robot to wait outside? Tell me what you want. Let's be polite still. I don't actually know why I'm reading all this out because you can see it on the screen, but there you go. It's better me sitting in science. You didn't need to flatter me, Alia. Nonetheless, I'm glad you came. I enjoy your work. 
I'm sorry, I know your work is important to you. My work is important to everyone. That's a bit of presumptuous. Tell me what you need. I'll do what I can to help you, Professor. Let's go with number three then. You're an expert on history. Tell me what you make of this. It's, it's brooch. It looks cheap. It's certainly old. Let's go with number three. Rice is of an eagle in the sun. One of the scholars sent to this brooch me. Did you know him? Sounds very ominous. Ancient markings. I know there's a hobby. I know there's a, ho a hobby of yours here, but can you read them? Is this going to be our first challenge, Jen? Eagle wing approach. I've never seen any of these groupings before, but two words have some common elements, so they must have related meanings. Well, so how do we know? Do we just choose? How do you know which one's right, or is there a right one? Only so, I guess because they have common meanings, I guess we know. Beloved. Don't know if this helps at all, Professor, this friend of yours. What is this about? Let's go. Let's be a bit more firm now. Janaki told me he found something. That was over a month ago. Janaki isn't like you. He is Nioxian through and through. You mean he's soft? You tried contacting him, you're right about him. Try you tried contacting that seems like the obvious thing to do. I can't. Wherever he is, he's on his own. No, not everyone is required to travel with a robot. I can't go hunting in the nebula for a missing, but you can. Something persuaded him to go to Mercy of all places. Maybe you can find out what it was. Mercy. Yeah, see. I'll see what I can dig up. <laughs> Aha, archaeology jokes. You need to raise my stipend. I will look, but no promises. Let's go for the very bad, but very obvious archaeology joke. I'll see what I can dig up. Thank you. Come back when you found him earlier. And earlier, you're taking that robot with you. Am I now? Thank you, Professor. I long to see the nebula. Do I get a say this? No? Okay. I quite like him, me or it, he, she, it, Z. He was eager to see him. Okay, this was clue with some kind of weird ghost because we keep on sort of. Is that the big mystery? Because we appear to be moving through everything. And with that, I completely missed what's going on. This, the text does go very quickly, so if you miss something, I don't know if there's a way of going back. That's a thing that's slightly irritating. So again, there's me looking at it from a mechanical point of view, game mechanics point of view. So that is a part of Archeo Gaming as well. You can look at the way that, you know, the mechanics of the games are, are laid out and what that might say about what the person... Um, was trying to get at with the mechanics, how they wanted you to see the game, how they wanted you to use the game, and uh, maybe how they wanted you... Ooh, should we go down, mistress? Yes. Can I just say, mistress, uh, yeah, it's wonderful to be accompanying you. Oh, yes. So, um, and why is that? See, if you keep... I, I find humans fascinating. And you are very different to most here. I have only recently been activated. I'm calling you six. Is this because I'm a six robot I've seen? Why six? 
You know, I don't think I got the translation on the brooch quite right. The shape indicates it's an empire piece, so I'd expect the inscription to reflect that. Well, how was I supposed to know? Should go and ask. Uh, should go and look for a professor's friend. Let's go and talk to this person. Did that lady just walk right through me? That's weird. I didn't know you were back in Ionx. Perhaps I'm not sure. She wanted me to find someone. Anyone I know? Almost certainly not. Let's go, actually. Not be quite so rude. But I know Renato, of course. Well, a little. What did he teach? He's a roboticist. One of the best. One of the few. But why she sent you to find him? I thought you would you dug things up. Proper waters earlier. What happened to Jackie? I don't know, Huang. <coughs> I'm sure it's nothing bad. Oh my! Before you go, it hardly seems important now, but I found a line of. Ancient in the animals of eye, if you have time, that is. Why not? Yeah, see what you think. So again, if we go from what the common theme we know so far. Buried. Banished, maybe? Holy. So I... Hmm. Native words holy. Maybe rebels? No, that won't fit. Hmm. I don't know. Work. Don't know. Don't think we know enough yet, we need to make much. I always thought there weren't any robots in the Empire. Well, she banished them, then maybe after that there weren't any robots in the Empire. Shall we proceed to your ship now? Have you ever sailed before six? No, because he talked about that. I have no idea, mistress. But I'm very keen to find out. And so we left the hollowed walls of the university. Okay. Weird timelines. Uh, so I guess, oh, goodness, 
Back to now. Okay, let's exit that. So that gives me a review of what we've just done. So it certainly does jump in at the uh, deep end. I guess the way that the maybe the mechanic of the um, translation for hieroglyphs in this game works is the more you find out, the more common elements you find, and then you sort of piece it together from there. Aboard the Nightingale, my ship is my refuge. It's the only place that's truly mine. So let's move on from that then. The journey to uh, Mercy should be quick, mistress. Nice place, is it? You think my friend is in trouble? You want to sail six? Nice place, is it? I do not believe so, mistress. I believe it is a farmyard. Why does a roboticist go to a farm? To study competition, perhaps, or perhaps there are robots buried on Marseille. Are there robots buried on Marseille? Messy. It's a moon of pigs and rice, mistress. Part of the Iox Protectorate, of course. Maybe I've a few runes of its own. Seems unlikely, but it isn't. Oh, Unless I will prepare the ropes. So far, it has not really told us much about archaeologists other than um, some really bad humour. Very much now a uh, archaeologist come detective. But archaeologists are very much detectives. Puzzle solvers. In fact, I very much considered uh, joining the police force after I finished my degree. So, Iox and Space sailing to Messi in the Verdant Pass. Ooh, crikey, ooh, crikey. Ooh, got a sail as well. Mm. I see the force of the river is fastest in the middle, mistress. Crikey, did no one told me that I should, uh, I should be expecting to sail. On the surface it appears the same, but there are deeper currents below. There, oh, God. Handles very precariously. Let's just uh, use that to glide. Are we still heading in the right direction? I hope we are. This is quite cool. It certainly, this game is visually very impressive. I do like the. Um, let's have a quick look around here. You now, the graphics is very. The graphics are very good. Let's try and recenter my camera. The river to the right should bring us to the same mistress. So let's. Oh, I thought we wanted to go right. Oh, this way. Okay. So it does kind of force you the right way. Right? Is this your ship, mistress? She is very beautiful, Mr. As well, thank you. I can't help but how you came around her, archaeology secret. Probably stole it from her tomb, ha <laughs> ha. Sorry. But this already has a very sort of Tomb Raider y feel, I guess. Not in terms of any of the mechanics or gameplay, because those are very different. And a game I should really go back and look at, actually. But just from, I don't know. I guess how it's put in forward at the moment. It's just a vibe it's given off. So, may I see a farming moon 
if the neighbor's here, I need to find him. And if he's not, I need to work out where he went. So we are coming up to over 30 minutes now. So I won't play too much longer today. Give it a, have a bit of an explore. Because again, I don't want these, um, pardon me, these videos to be too long. Look at this place. Breathe the air. I cannot breathe, mistress. But rest assured, I am most happy for you all the same. <laughs> He's a bit of a Saki uh, robot, isn't he? Or it. Six is a Saki. Well then, let's see where Renbo's gone. If we're really lucky, I... Ooh. Didn't catch that. The way you're bringing it up, I don't know. Let's just see if we can get a bit of sound on, because that may help catch. Let's just have it quite low, and hopefully I'll still be able to hear. You'll still be able to hear me. Up my volume as well. So there we go. Let's go. Question. So where do we start? <clears throat> There's a series of rice terraces. If we climb up that way, away from water, that should take us to a village. And there's a cow coming towards a uh, pig. Cow. That's definitely a pig. That was back towards my ship, wasn't it? So let's go back this way. There's a little hut there. This question again. Can you do a scan for Janaki or something? Mistress has mistaken me for a dog. Perhaps you believe if I had a scrap of cloth, then I could trace a scent? Can you do that? Trace a scent? No, Mistress. If I see him, I'll let you know. So if he can't do a scan, then what use is he? Honestly. There's no way I'm crossing that, mistress. Robots cannot swim. There's something scratched here. It's the emblem of Iox. I suppose this is where Mercy leaving goods for to collect. Interesting. So this is a but I think you know this is a visually a very impressive game. This way then. Even if the fade I do find the fading way you fade in now a little bit irritating. But there we go. Oh there's a sculpture. Let's go and have a look at sculpture. Look at this thing. What earth is that? It is hideous. However, I think I'm going to say it's beautifully crafted, just to be a bit nice. It is quite old. Well, yep, this definitely is. You can tell it's very old. It's sort of moss and bits grown off it. Zoom in, actually, there, that's quite impressive there. You can sort of see where the sort of weathering on, they've put weathering on stone. That's really cool. I might be able to translate them. Oh, God. So that definitely is holy. Holy. Light, maybe. Let's go, holy light goddess. Could still change my mind, but holy light goddess. 
Maybe they're the big god too. <clears throat> I'd expect pigs to be atheist mistress. <laughs> oh, she does have an all-important note and paper. That's very good. Always have a note and paper. No trowelet though. She does not have a trowel. Or 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 bull whip. Definitely a Saki robot. The upper field. Let's walk along this walkway. This paths are certainly precarious, like our archaeological excavations. Got some uh, farming going on here by the looks of it. Oh, and some people. Not just pigs. So much rice. Just lying around. Oh, it's not farming, it's just it's been obviously it's been farmed and processed. No stealing the rice. Let's not steal the rice. Why can't everywhere be like this? Enough food, enough space. Yeah, I certainly do miss going out and seeing places like this. Well, not like this, obviously, but you know what I mean. Up this way. So going higher and higher. What did you make of Renber's brooch six? The one sent to my... Uh, I was struck by the craftsmanship. It seemed very fine to me. It is an artisan. It is artisanal product. High status. I half expected him to say something like cheese, just to be really sarky then. Hard to say. Possibly very high. Obviously, six has a archaeology function, or at least a uh, craftsmanship or appreciation. So no one's actually stopped me yet. I'm just a random stranger walking around with a robot, and no one's been bothered to stop me. I think I've had a few questions if I'd lived there. So well, well, ye, well, well, well. Oh, finally someone has spotted me. Stranger! Greetings! Greetings to you! Welcome to Mercy. Have you come to trade? Actually, I'm looking for someone. Who? Not a Messian. Surely we are like ants to you. That's not true. So you're looking for a Messian? My friend is Ioxian. We do not keep any of those in our pens. <laughs> Good luck with the search, they say. Nebula is wide. Helpful. Yep, super helpful. It appears Wenbo was never here, mistress. Perhaps we should return to the ship. Maybe we should talk to someone who will talk to us properly and not and much less like cryptic. Good faith to you. My apologies, Ioxen. My pigs need me. Please, if you could just... They're very rude. Please, I need to talk to you. Is that so? Please, it's important I find my friend. No disrespect. But we have no strangers here on this until today. Good faith to you. Mm. Came here perhaps, that's all. That's, that's my life story really. Come on Six, let's try it this way.
Oh, we're auto walking now. Obviously going in the right direction. You're from my ox? I was born in Elbereth. But you're from my ox. My name is Annie. I heard a voice, Ioxian, but you said earlier. Do you know Janaki Lambert? Yes. Oh, finally! You told me someone might come. Janaki? Or Janaki? My tall Ioxian, he left something for this mire with the goddess to keep it safe. The statue? Can you tell me what he was doing here? Can't, oh, you can't tell me what he's doing here. Did he, did someone find some robots? He was looking for something in the sky. He was always watching the rivers. I have to go now. I don't want to tell, I don't want them to see me talking to you. There. Well. Now, why would he do something like that? Indeed. Well, I think with that, I'm actually going to leave it there for now for today's episode. That's a nice little introduction so far. Not really done much, uh archaeology yet apart from trying to translate some truly baffling hieroglyphs and uh, make some really terrible puns but other than that i guess we'll hopefully find out more in the next episode so i hope you at least enjoyed uh, watching through that a little bit and again in next episode we'll explore a little bit more find out if we can find out more about where uh, this Remba rent and hopefully do something a little bit more archaeology like I guess archaeological hopefully uh, and hopefully you get to grips with this uh, translation of these hieroglyphs so yes um, as I said I'm not going to make a exact plan for when the next episode is going to be but when I do I will post on the usual channels probably on my Instagram and my Facebook and Twitter. Uh, thank you for tuning in for this episode and until next time, do take care. Bye for now.